Hello my spooky friends! If this is your first time being here, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Emily and today I am bringing you another spooky Sunday. Let's go ahead and jump right on into that. So this week's Spooky Sunday is essentially just me continuing through the haunted places in Portland, Oregon. Now if you guys aren't already aware, I am from the Portland area. I live in Washington, but I'm very close, like about 10 to 15 minutes away from Portland, and I've been there many times in my life. It is a very busy city, there's a lot of haunted places, it has a lot of history, and I am really intrigued finding all these things out about Portland that I didn't even know. So I have another spooky Portland story for you guys. So the White Eagle Saloon is located in Portland, Oregon, USA. The building went into construction in the late 1880s, but then was renovated in 1914, and that is what we see nowadays when you go to the White Eagle Saloon. The White Eagle Saloon currently operates as a bed and breakfast hotel, a bar, and a place where people can go and perform on the weekends, and people can go there and get drunk and listen to some good live music. But back in the saloon's heyday, it actually was a brothel. Now, obviously, this is in my spooky Sunday, so obviously Obviously, there is some spooky stuff going on here. Well, many of the girls who worked as prostitutes in the brothel actually ended up tragically dying in the walls of the saloon. The saloon was actually nicknamed the Bucket of Blood, which is absolutely horrifying if you ask me, because of all of the violence and all of the murders that went down inside the walls of that place. Many people who visit the saloon claim to have extreme paranormal experiences. They experience being touched by unseen hands, they experience coins falling from the ceiling, there is ghostly music that plays throughout the entire saloon when there is no band, no radio, no nothing on to play this music. Many people have reported seeing the spirit of a former bouncer from the saloon that actually lurks in the nearby alley and he is very tall, very large. I guess when he was alive he was a large and in charge type of man. And people report seeing his apparition and it just terrifies them because this man was so big and just intimidating. Can you imagine being in an alleyway next to a known haunted location and seeing just a giant ass man pop up out of nowhere? Like, hey dude, you're X'd out. You gotta go. You drank too much. I'd be horrified. Many employees have reported being physically assaulted by these supposed ghosts and paranormal entities that lie within the walls of the saloon. An employee by the name of Karen Vliehauer actually reported watching a waitress fall down a flight of stairs and basically be pushed by something unseen. This girl didn't just stumble across the stairs and fall. She was standing there completely solid, feet on the ground, and then looked like she was pushed by something that was not there. So that's pretty freaking terrifying and pretty alarming. Many people who visit the saloon have reported seeing toilet paper flying around on its own and kitchen utensils flying around on their own. I don't know what the ghosts are trying to tell us here, but obviously this means something, right? Maybe they're trying to say that they're hungry and that they have to use the restroom. Many well-known psychics have actually gone to the White Eagle Saloon, but they will not go down the stairs into the basement. And all of that is pretty terrifying, right? Well, the most terrifying spot in the entire saloon is the basement. Of course it's the basement. Why wouldn't it be the basement? It's always the basement or the attic. They do it on purpose, I'm telling you. They feed off of our fears and they know that we're scared of little tiny creepy areas and they just make it extra scary on purpose. The ghosts are playing us. There have been many well-known psychics that have actually visited the White Eagle Saloon in the past and they refuse to go in the basement. Many people who visit the saloon also report seeing teardrop-shaped orbs flying around the room and appearing in front of them. There have also been many of these teardrop-shaped orbs that have been captured on photo. Now it really does seem like there is a lot of paranormal energy trapped in this saloon, which is understandable because it has a pretty dark history. But not all of the ghosts that are reported are bad. Many of the employees know of two two well-known ghosts that roam around the upstairs hotel area, Rose and Sam. According to some of the employees, Sam was actually an orphaned boy that was adopted at the age of 10 by the owner of the White Eagle Saloon. Eventually, Sam became the caretaker of the White Eagle Saloon and lived there until he died. Sam died in room two of the hotel and you can actually still rent that room 
to this day. A few people have actually been ballsy enough to stay in room two overnight, but they always report paranormal activity after their stay. The second, more friendly ghost of the White Eagle Saloon is a prostitute named Rose. Unfortunately, Rose met her tragic end at the hand of her own lover in the hotel when it was acting as a brothel. Rose has been seen by many who dare to stay in the hotel, but she's more often heard crying throughout the halls of the White Eagle Saloon. So now that you guys know about all of the creepy happenings that are going on inside of the White Eagle Saloon, I am going to be following this video up with a part two, which will happen probably within the next month or so, maybe two months. I'm not 100% sure about that because I'm still trying to figure everything out, but I am going to make my way down to the White Eagle Saloon and I'm going to try and get some footage, get some cool pictures there, and see if I can have any otherworldly and paranormal experiences. But with that, I'm going to be closing out Spooky Sunday for this week. I hope that you found it creepy and I hope that you enjoyed. And if you have been to the White Eagle Saloon, please do leave your experiences down below because I know it's a very popular popular hotspot in Portland, Oregon. A lot of people know about the hauntings there and a lot of people go there to try and get ghosts on camera. So if you've been there, please do let me know because I am so excited and interested in this topic. I do hope that you consider subscribing if you have not already. I am doing Spooky Sunday every single Sunday and if you are into makeup stuff, I got all sorts of that for you happening here on this channel as well. I do hope that you consider giving this video a big ol' thumbs up and hitting that notification bell down below as well. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic, wonderful, and slightly spooky day wherever you are. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye! Stay spooky, my friends.